Did you know that over 72% of Amazon PPC campaigns in the last year were not profitable, with the ACoS coming in at higher than the profit margin of the product? Now, as Amazon sellers, we've kind of come to accept, or we've been told that we need to accept, that PPC is just a cost of doing business with Amazon, and that you need to spend more money on PPC in order to grow your reputation with Amazon. Now, this is total rubbish, to be honest. In no other industry would you accept marketing campaigns that weren't profitable as just a cost of doing business with Amazon. Now, beyond no illusions, your competition know this, and they know exactly how to make money from PPC campaigns. Now, you might think this is because they've got bigger teams or maybe a bigger budget or maybe they have some secret source and they know exactly how to run campaigns. Now, whilst they might have bigger teams, there isn't really a secret source. They just know how to optimize and run campaigns effectively in order to start making them grow. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you a special tool that I use to spy on my competition's PPC campaigns so that I can improve my organic rank and start making more profitable campaigns and basically growing my business on Amazon. And best of all, the tool is free. So let's dive in. Now, when I'm analyzing PPC campaigns on Amazon, there are nine key performance indicators or KPIs that I like to use to benchmark how my performance is doing so that I can start improving on my campaigns. And the first one of these is click-through rate. Sometimes this is abbreviated to CTR. Now the click-through rate is the percentage ratio of people that click on your campaign having had an impression. Now an impression is when someone sees your ad advert. So if someone sees your advert and then they clicks on it, that is called a click through and the click through rate is the percentage ratio of people that see it to actually click through. So just an example of this, if 100 people see your advert and one person clicks on it, that means your click through rate would be 1%. The second KPI I look at is cost per click or CPC. Now the cost per click is the amount it costs for each person to click on your ad. Quite a straightforward one this one, but it's basically you bid for an ad, and when someone clicks on it, you pay Amazon, that's the cost per click. The third one is the conversion rate. Now the conversion rate is the percentage of people who end up purchasing your product based on the number, number of people who have viewed your product. Say 100 people view your listing and one person buys it, your conversion rate is 1%. Now, that's a pretty low conversion rate for Amazon. Like You want to be aiming for at least 5% on Amazon. Sometimes some of my products get up to 10, 15% conversion rate. It really depends on the category you're in. That's why it's really good to start benchmarking your success against other people in your category. The fourth one is the advertising cost of sales. And or that is sometimes abbreviated as ACoS. Now, ACoS is how much you spend on your campaigns in order to make sales. Say, for example, you spend $10 on ads and you make $100 worth of sales. In that scenario, your ACoS would be 10%. That's pretty straightforward. And if your profit margin is more than 10%, you're still profitable. The fifth KPI is the average daily impressions. Now, this is the average of how many people see your ad each day taken over a set period of time. Now you can average that over whatever period you want to look at. So if you want to look over the last seven days, you can get an average of what your impressions are have been for the last seven days. And then you've also got average daily clicks. Now your average daily clicks, just like the average daily impressions, is exactly is exactly the same. It's how many people click on your ad on average per day. Number seven is average daily conversions. Now this is how many people convert to make it becoming a buyer every day. Then you've got average daily spend. Now this one's quite an important one because this is how much money you're spending on your campaign each day and how much you're going to be budgeting for. So that means you can set your daily spend and you can work out what your average daily spend has been based on the budget you've set. And the last one is average daily revenue. And this is the most important one because this is where you can work out just how much money you've been making off all of your advertising campaigns over the last however many days. So those are the nine key KPIs that I look at when I'm comparing my campaigns. We're not going to go into too much detail about those in this video, but what we're going to look at now is how you can compare those metrics from your campaigns to how your competition is doing. Because now you know what all these KPIs are, they're pretty useless unless you know exactly how to compare them to your competition. Like how do you know what's good? How do you know if a 10% conversion rate is good? How do you know what other people in your category are doing? There's no point saying, oh, I made $100 this week if everybody else in your category is making $500 this week. You want to know exactly how you are doing against your biggest competitors. And that's why I use a free tool called Perpetua Benchmarker. Now, Perpetua Benchmarker is a free tool 
which allows you to compare and analyze your ad performance against your competitions. Now, they've got 20,000 Amazon product categories on there or something, which is basically every single category. And they've also got the top 100 products from those categories, and they go into a deep dive into how they're doing so that you can start comparing your, comp your performance against theirs. Now, by benchmarking, you can kind of identify the strengths in your campaigns and also maybe any weaknesses you've got and you can use that data to start comparing yourself and start to improving it. Now this tool is completely free and there's a link to it in the comments section of this video or in the notes of this video. So check that out after this video and I'll point it out to you at the end of the video as well. Now there's a few different sections on here which I found particularly helpful. So the first one is the summary section. So the summary section basically gives you an overview of exactly how you're doing. Um, against your competition. This is very much a high level view of how you're doing. The first thing they, they do is they give you a little score, which I quite like. They give you a little uh, a silver, gold or bronze score uh, against how you're doing against your competition. This is just cut some thing they kind of work out. I, d I haven't really, I don't pay too much attention to that, but it's nice to see that this, this campaign is, or this uh, account is doing silver. And then what is quite great about this section at the top is it shows you the KPIs that I've talked about before. It shows you which one is doing the best. So as you can see, this is all test data, but as you can see from here, the conversion rates for this account has gone up by 4%, which is awesome because that means more people are buying their products. However, their ACoS has also gone up, which means they've started spending more money on advertising. So maybe it's become a bit less profitable. This is just a really good way of getting a click quick glance about how you're doing and then you've got a section underneath called the performance funnel now in the performance funnel you can start seeing different uh, headline kpis for how your campaigns are performing so for example here i can see that my acos is 26.7 percent and my ad spend has been a hundred thousand and you can see whether that's been going up or down now what's good about this is it shows you what your performance has been and how it's how it's been performing against your previous period as well now I find this quite useful to see this summary level because it kind of shows you exactly what your campaigns have been doing. Now when you're looking at the Amazon reports, like Amazon's reports are quite difficult to read and it's very difficult to get sort of this level of data uh, from looking at Amazon's reports. So I find this quite a helpful way of just seeing a high level view of how my campaigns have been performing. Now underneath the performance funnel, you've got what's called the impact driver. Now in here, what you can see is the different areas of your campaigns, which are contributing to either the profitability or, the, or not of how your campaigns. So you can see here that this office chair, for example, is actually not doing that great at the moment and the clicks are down quite a lot. Whereas this single bed mattress, the clicks also down on there. Whereas we've got this product, which is a doormat, where the clicks are actually going up massively. Now you can change which, um, which KPI you're looking at in here. So say, for example, I wanted to change that to impressions. You can see that the impressions here have also kind of been in line with the clicks, which is a good thing to see. But if you wanted to see what the ad spend was, you know, it might be that you've got an ad spend which is not quite correlating to the amount of clicks you've got. Once you know that sort of data, you can use that data to start improving your campaigns. You know, it may be that you've got the wrong keywords in there, for example. You can also set out this, take this information in like a table format or what they call a tree map. And that kind of puts everything uh, out so it shows you which what, which of your products are contributing to your campaigns winning and losing. Now in the performance matrix, you can actually see how your campaigns are performing uh, in the last month. So it looks back at just the previous month, but it shows you where you're making improvements, what's going up, what's going down. So if you have made changes month on month, then you can like keep a note of those. You can come back to this later, like the next month, so you can see if the changes you've made have made any difference in this sort of format. Now, I find this a really easy format to see because what it's showing me is exactly where the my products are performing well and where they're not performing well. Now, this is a really easy view of seeing it. And I love seeing it in this sort of format. Now, this section is the most important section. This is the product analysis section. And this is where you can see how your campaigns are performing compared to other products in the same category as yours. Now, if you see here, you've got the products down the left hand side and you've got all of the KPIs along the top. Now, this is showing you exactly what you've done. So you can see for this product in this test data, this office chair had an ACoS of 23.62% last year. Now, this is really, you know, I don't know whether that's good or not. These aren't my products, this is just test data, but that's the point of this tool. 
I can see how my campaigns are performing compared to other products in my category. So I can see that a good level in this category would be about 9.64 and I'm in the bad level at the moment of over about 22%. Now, this is a good thing to know because when I'm doing product research, I can use this data to kind of plan what my profitability needs to be in order to still have money after spending money on PPC campaigns. So if I know that 22% of people in the industry, or oh, sorry, 22% is the average ACOS in my category for this product, uh, then I know that I've got to make sure my profit margin is more than 22% when I'm doing the product research, otherwise, when I launch my campaigns, they're probably going to be unprofitable at first. This is important data to know. And you can see here that the conversion rate here is 8.06. Now that's in the really good category. Now the conversion rate's really important to know because say for example, you know you're getting 100 people viewing your listing, then eight people are going to buy it. Now if you know that, then you can work out what your cost per click is going to be for your campaigns and then you can start budgeting for that accordingly. So this is a really good bit of information to know. I've been using this to for my campaigns just to see how I'm doing against my competition. It's really fascinating to see how well your campaign's performing. And I actually have quite a bit of work to do off the back of looking at the campaigns. Uh, they're not performing quite as well as I'd have liked. <laughs> and the next part is called the performance foundation and the account structure. So this is where they're looking at how your accounts are set up and how your campaign's set up against your competition. So you can see it, it shows you exactly uh, how many campaigns they've got. Like the benchmark here is 1.8 and we've actually got less, 1.5, that's perfect. You can see that the different ASINs and the ad groups in here. This is useful, but a really good thing to look at here is the ad formats and the spends distribution. Because you can see here whether people have got sponsored products or sponsored brands. Like if you've got more sponsored products than sponsored brands, but your competition is doing more, because maybe if you can see that your competition isn't doing too many sponsored brands, that could be a good opportunity for you to get to the top of those keywords with some like sponsored brand ads. Now sponsored brand ads are great, especially if you've got videos, they can really convert really well. So if you can see that in your category, there's not many people doing sponsored ads, that could be an opportunity for you to get some cheap clicks and to really get to the top of those categories. And then underneath, they give you a little score about how you're doing basically compared to the rest of your categories. So you can see here, you've got the average cost, advertising cost of sales, and you can see that ours is 35%, but the general benchmark is 29%. That means that we need to improve our ACOS in this and it may not be profitable. However, our conversion rate is actually 13.5, but our general benchmark is 7.19. That means that we're performing better than our category. So you can see we've been given five stars, which is always nice. But this is really interesting information to know because if you know your conversion rate's good, but your ACOS is quite high, it could be that you're going off the wrong keywords. How you read the data is up to you, and we're not like talking about that too much today, but as you can see, you're getting some really, really good, important data points from how your competition's doing in, the, in their categories. And there's also loads of information on here um, you can learn how to improve it or book a call with the guys at Celix. Um, if you want to do, there's some more information down at the bottom. Now, this tool is really, really good. And the best thing about it is it's free. And what you can do is see exactly how your competition's doing in their PPC campaigns and take some of that learning and put it into your campaigns. Now, as I said before, there's a link to this tool in the notes section of this video, and it's completely free. And it only takes about five minutes to get it set up. You just need to link it into your Amazon account. So spend five minutes to get this set up and then spend some time looking through this tool because I think you'll get some really good data points out of it. Let me know in the comments if you found the tool helpful and let me know how your campaigns are doing in the comments. I'll put a note in there about exactly how my campaigns are doing compared to my competition so you can all laugh at me and maybe I'll get some screenshots as well. But I hope you found that video helpful. Um, if you did, then please subscribe to this channel and hopefully I will see you in the next video.